Hi, in this video, I'll be going over how you can use Chrome Gallery on a Google Chromebook to edit and work on PDFs. So if you were to download a PDF directly from Schoology or an assignment, there's an easy way to edit that PDF directly and then submit it um, instead of using Kami or some other kind of tool to download it and then make edits and save it again and then re-upload that. It's so much easier to just edit the document or the PDF that you already have given. So for example, this is a worksheet that I downloaded from Schoology. So I can use this to complete the assignment quickly and more efficiently. Um, a disclaimer is that this specific shortcut will probably only work on Chromebooks. Um, but yeah, anyway, so if I've got this PDF that I've downloaded, this is in gallery. It can show up on the bottom. Um, if your Chromebook is updated, then it should allow this to happen if you click on it directly in files. And after this, you can click on the text button to start annotating with text. So if you click anywhere, then you can start typing and you can edit the text color, the font, the size, the different styles, the indent, anything. So I can type in my name over here and I can type in the date. And then um, there are different types of problems that you can answer using this feature. You can draw, you can highlight, you can write, you can type. So for example, um, the first problem is asking what is 2 plus 2. So you can show your work. Um, and if you click enter, then it should go into a new line. Um, and you can type like that. And another feature is that you can draw. For example, you can click annotate. And with this feature, you have to make sure that it's on pen. You can choose a different size and the thickness of it. You can choose color. So for example, I might say 1S and start drawing. Um, if you have a little bit less space for it, like I do in this case over here, I can increase my zoom. and decrease my size to make my writing more condensed. And I can zoom out even more if needed. So after drawing whatever I decide to draw over there, I can move on and I can bring my zoom right back to 100. And then the next question is asking to annotate and write a paragraph. So for writing a paragraph, I can go over here and um, to indent, there's no tab feature I can use, so I've got to use space. And then I can type and then I can add line breaks and then keep on typing. And if I, for some reason, decide to make everything centered in the middle or on the right or anything like that, I can use this feature for that. Um, and then the last thing I want to go over is annotations. So if you go back to the annotate feature over here, you can use um, a highlighter. You can use different sizes. So these ones are transparent. The other ones, they go right over it. And these ones are um, more transparent. So I can highlight something directly in colors. So this could help me if I want to make specific notes. I can even make a color key on the top and say that this color is maybe for this literary term or something like that. And if I don't want to do like actual highlights, I can also like use it like to make my own like shapes of highlights if I want to. Um, so there are many different op like options and I can also make different margin notes and still type out exactly what I believe. Um, after I'm done annotating and working on my PDF, I can finish by clicking on save. And it should automatically be saved as a PDF over there. So then if I reopen it, it should be all ready for me to use again. So I can come back and I can edit it later. And the best part is that it can be edited um, offline as well since it's downloaded to your device. So um, finally, you can submit your assignment by going to Schoology or wherever you'd like to submit it and clicking on upload and uploading that PDF directly. Um, that's all for today, so thank you so much.